Okay guys, so this is the follow-up. I wanted to do a separate video for this. So um, today is the, it's something called, um, hang on one second. Something is going on called the Be Brave for Cannabis Movement. Actually, I should probably wait till a couple of you guys come on here. So, hang on one second. Kim. Okay. So what I want to share is, as you guys know, um, tomorrow is 420, April 20th, which is my dad's birthday, Hitler's birthday. <laughs> and it's like the national like cannabis holiday. Um, so if you Google like how 420 came about, like you'll probably never find the correct answer. Um, <laughs> I don't think anyone really knows but anyways supposedly what I've always been told is that was like the police code for people smoking weed like we got a 420 over here so anyways that's not important it is actually important but tomorrow is April 20th I'll be at a Snoop Dogg concert tomorrow night I'm super excited but today is 419 and basically there's a whole movement going on if you search it like the hashtag and look it up online it's um hashtag be brave for cannabis so what this means is i mean even if you do smoke marijuana um which obviously i do i live in denver okay use it for medicine um but you don't have to go you don't have to take a picture of you like using cannabis and be like i'm right like you don't have to like tell people that you do but cannabis is the same plant as hemp okay it's it's cannabis plant and then one strain is marijuana one strain is hemp which we use this is our business so uh, something i want to encourage you guys about today is to use that hashtag be brave for cannabis um and just share you know make it public share on your facebook on your instagram how um you know hemp works how cbd has helped your life um, and the day, the promotion, not promotion, um, what's the word? The whole like motivation for this, the whole reason for this is to just continue to break that stigma that people have around cannabis. So, um, even if you, you know, share other people's stories and say, you know, be brave for cannabis. Um, and the thing you're supposed to share is like why you're brave for cannabis. So like mine, uh, I plan to go live and share that I'm brave for cannabis because it helped me get off of the Laura tabs, which were like controlling my life, like damaging my life. Um, you know, it helped me, it helps my anxiety. It helps me sleep. It's helped my son have like a whole new life. Um, so hell yeah, like I'm going to speak up about that today. Like I'm going to share that with people. Um, and it's just like, we're moving along in the times. But I remember when I was, I wasn't, I was probably 19. I was in college at the university. Um, and I, I joined the, the student council, right? I ran for student council, whatever, my freshman year. And I was elected and I sat in the student council meetings and I told them, um, you know, we need to have a normal chapter and normal is um, national organization for reform of marijuana laws. And I've always been super active in just educating people on cannabis and helping change the laws and whatnot. So more people can have access to medication. I watched my grandpa, um, you know, I firmly believe that his cancer didn't kill him. I firmly believe that the poison they put in his body killed him because he couldn't eat. Um, he just withered away he was diabetic you know like he, you have to eat when you're diabetic um if he would have had cannabis i might have had that much longer of time with my grandpa same thing happened to my grandma um so anyways i did like i went through all the crap it was like forever but i got that first chapter approved at that university and i ran it while i was in college there 
Um, so what I'm saying is I'm just really passionate about breaking the stigma. And I think I always have been. I mean, I'm 34 now. So, you know, and what? It's been, what's 18 to 34? That's like forever. That's like 16 years. What? No way. It's been 16 years since I've been in college. Can, is that even true? Yeah. No, no, it can't be. It is. No. Oh, my God. Do I look good in this outfit? Oh, yeah. That's a long time. So, um, yeah, you look good. Even when I didn't use cannabis, there's years I didn't use cannabis to medicate. Um, didn't use CBD, didn't use hemp, didn't use, you know, any type of medicine at all. You know, because I was pregnant and I was raising babies and things like that. Um, I still advocated it for it. I still tried to educate people. I still tried to stay on top of things. Um, so that's just kind of the importance of um, today. And I wanted to share that with you guys. To be brave for cannabis today. To use that hashtag. And just, you know, maybe it's, it's a chance to tell your story. Um, you know, talk about things that, um, you know, the CBD has helped you with. So... Hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to try to get a whole bunch of stuff today done today so I can take tomorrow off. And, um, yeah, sounds good. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm going to go get a jacket. I'm absolutely freezing cold. And, um, yeah, you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you later. I need to get these uploaded to YouTube. So bye, guys.